Welcome to the NRC LEGO Cup Series race number three, also known as race number two since Kansas was canceled, um, here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. It's a nice sunny day out. Um, also, um, what do you guys think of the beginning? I made my own logo and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, rate, um, rate this video thumbs up if you liked it, and comment like always, and we'll get... The command to fire the engines. Drivers, start your engines! That was the command. Let's go out there and have a good time today. I'll make it happen at the end, my friend. Take something up here. You're ready to rock and roll. Good luck to you guys on pit road down there today. And, um, we had an enthusiastic, um, guy who said the command um so that was pretty exciting so we have Stephen Pollard the third and second Katie Elizabeth then Robert Pollard then Cody Moore then James Shelley then Zach Warren then uh Christian Viatoro and that's pretty much it I can say right now is green flag is out who's gonna get lucky here in Las Vegas Tony Blazier getting out to a good start. Going into turn number one, too. So they're still there. The first three are running single file. Is um it was like we said, the first three. Oh, whoa! Big crash! Very big crash! Here in Las Vegas. It wasn't. It didn't sound like a pretty one. So we will get back to you and see how this, tr how that big tragic mess, um, started and who was in it. Here's how it was. Cody Moore getting just not um enough room from Robert Pollard. He goes up and over. Is that is James Shelley the second, I believe. In that 33, yes. And uh, Nick Neilman involved. Zachary Robinson getting around. Tom Gerard with some big damage. Um, a lot of other drivers in it. Gene Sanford with slight damage. Um, Allie Ann with a lot of damage too. Dakota Brandon get trying to get through it, and Robert Pollard with a lot of damage. As we will show you how um, another angle. Well, actually, right on board with Cody. As he see, he's just getting loose, and um, Robert Paula didn't just give him the room that he needed. He goes around and up, then back around as he watches these drivers and um, these cars just go by him, and other cars wrecking. So, <clears throat> a hard crash today. A hard crash for Cody Moore to, today, and also with Robert Pollard. So, um, we'll run on board with Robert Pollard and see his perspective and what he was seeing and what was going on in, with him. You see, he's also, he's going faster than Cody by about a mile, or about one mile an hour. As he sees, he sees the car go up and over as he gets spun around. He gets hit right there, and hit right there. And just barely skids the wall. I don't even think he does. But then there he goes. Just drive, and then he has to drive it away. So this crazy wreck here at Las Vegas, as it was. Um, let's get back to you to the front. It was. I think it was. Yeah, Katie Elizabeth who. Um, Led them back to the line as we will get you back to one to go here in Las Vegas. And we are back here going into turn number three. Michael Wagner is a lap down, so that is not a good sign. But um, your Daytona winner, which is your points leader, since like we said, um, um, the Kansas race is withdrawn. So there will only be 19 races in the season th this season. So it's gonna be um, pretty, pretty exciting because one race is um, off the schedule. 
So Tom Gerard, who is your winner at Daytona, is um crashed out and finished 39th. But here we are. Green flag is out. Las Vegas. Katie Elizabeth was a good um jump over Zach Warren and the rest of them. So we'll see the Pollard, Stephen Pollard the third in time Pollard, um third and fourth right now. And then um uh, Robert Pollard. Uh, remember, he was in the crash just now. These cars are really tough to handle, so you're going to see a lot of cars into the wall and possibly a caution. Almost. Oh, and we do see a caution. And, oh, it's a big crash! Um, like we did with the last caution, we will get to you. We will be right back to you and see how this happened. And it starts up here where it's Jack Warren who um gets loose and like we said these cars are really tough to handle here at Las Vegas and at any track you see he gets spun around right here Mason Williams trying to go up high then dive down low that's not a good idea As you can see as Michael Wagner the lap car is in, uh, involved in this so we will show you um, right in front Michael Wagner with some damage Big damage, and then Nick Neilman getting spun around, and then Jake Blicker with hard right front damage. Nick Neilman involved, James Green Jr. involved, Kyle Thomas trying to get away. So we'll go on board with Alex Lozano in that 99 and see, because he, I think he was a car who was trying, yeah, he was right in the middle, so he can't see anything. He, uh, he just sees, he just knows somebody's spinning out. And he just slams the brakes like everybody else. And then he sees Michael Wagner right here. And he really has nowhere to go as he gets bumped from behind by Kyle Thomas. So we'll watch it from back here. Since Kyle Thomas gets pushed. As Gene f wasn't really a factor. But we'll see. Oh, it was just Kyle Thomas. It was, it was just Kyle who... Um, did not uh, um, hit the brakes fast enough. You see, he's going 175 and slams the brakes and just not ha does not have enough time to um, not hit Lozano. As Michael almost goes up and over, but lucky he is still um, on on all four wheels. As we'll watch Jake Blicker and see how hard he actually hit the wall. See where it's um, full speed. Right there, he really has nowhere to go. Jake Blicker and Kevin White kind of spin him into the wall. And you see Alex Lozano come right up on him. So we're going to see a lot of cautions today, unless a lot of drivers are out of the race, which would not be a good sign. So we will get back to one to go here in Las Vegas. It's Jake Blicker with some major um, adjustments to his car and trying to fix that. So we will get back to you as soon as we get the one to go. And I started it a bit late, but um, we are one to go. Uh, Michael Wagner still a lap down. I think he, oh, he's still one lap down, and he's still somehow on the track, but I don't want the pace car. There we go, okay. But he does fall back quite a bit, as we'll get a good um, flyby of all the cars. Let's see where Wagner is right now. I don't think he's holding up any cars. He, oh, he is. He's holding up 13th and back. So that's going to be a um, it's going to be a tough time for them trying to get back up to the front. We'll stay back here as um as we see another wreck up ahead. Oh, hard wreck. Oh, up and over is Nicole Williams and flipping. Oh, Tony Blazer with some hard damage with Kyle Thomas. As um we can't even finish one lap here in um, Las Vegas. These are um, these cars do not have good handling, like we have said, and a lot of cars involved, a lot of good drivers. And we'll get back to you again and see how this mess occurred again. And it starts in the front with Tony Hurd getting um, clipped on the right rear, um, right rear of. Um, and that's from Christian Viatoro who took him out. As Tony Hurd goes for a little ride, 
And then Nicole Williams and Dakota Brandon involved and something happened. Oh, right here at the start of the safer barrier. Not not the best spot where you want to be in Nicole Williams right now. Is with um without Nicole Williams there, I think um Dakota would have been up and over, but unfortunately it had to have been um Nicole Williams up and over Ben Cannon. Wow. As we will show you how um, the rest of this happened. You see Zachary Robinson, the first of drivers in his line to uh, get hit. Is he Tony Hurd? He had nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. He saw a car. He knew a car was on the high side. He knew a car was on the low side. He figured just jump through the middle. He couldn't. Gets blocked off pretty much and gets hit hard. Is Michael Wagner again involved? Henry Nova hits him hard too. There's a lot, like we said, a lot of drivers probably by the end of this are going to be out of the race. So it's going to it's going to be a long race for sure. We will watch on Tony Blazier. I don't think he had much damage when he gets spun out right here, and he he tries saving it and he does, and he goes Mason Williams getting through that. So does uh, okay, it's so 32. Who is it? It's May Shelley getting through that too. Wow. Um, let's watch Rear Chase and see. Uh, it was Gene Sanford who uh, kind of spun out Tony, which Jake Blicker just went way too fast in, in uh, going down the front stretch. There's Kyle Thomas. What has gone into Kyle Thomas right there? What got into him thinking he could... So he was a slow car out on the track get a good view as he come, comes down to the start finish line trying to get trying to avoid all the mess he does hold the brakes and then he goes back on the gas and then he holds the brake again and just unfortunately had to be Blazer who gets hit about 80 miles an hour so it's a tough lick for and a tough wreck for some of these drivers as some of them did get away as it was Zach Warren who was going to lead them and we will get back to the one to go 19 or 18 cars left Ridiculous man, it's crazy how bad wrecks can be and we are only in lap 40 or 15 That's how many laps there are in the race. So this is gonna be a very long recording. I can tell you that for sure 18 cars left if you have survived You are pretty good. You're in a pretty good uh, chance of uh, getting a good top 10 finish as green flag is out here in Las Vegas again Now the front three are, have a sight of no damage to their car, but I believe they will have to face um, some lapped cars by the time this race is over. And let's hope that we don't have another caution to take out any more drivers. Side by side, back to the line. It is Zach Warren. And we are seeing a little too close of racing here. Because I think, oh, Katie Elizabeth just lost a few positions. Not good. That is not good. Um, she just stuck on that high side, which no one likes to be. Look at this, James Shelley not giving Katie any room, but luckily she's able to get away. Steve Pollard has to be in the has to go in the pits for tire changes and some uh, fixing some damage he was into um, some of the wrecks. Is Stephen Pollard the third is out in front? And um, while we're at it, we will give you the drivers who are out, and I will not give up the names. But the, this is everybody. You guys can pause it here if you want. But, um, get back to the race, and there's a caution! There is a caution out here again. Drew Austin and Zach Danford, and we'll show you how this happened. Oh! Not just, um, Drew Austin. We will show you how this happened, though. And like we said, it started with Zach Danford and Drew Austin. Drew Austin just getting into the wall, I believe, on the safer barrier. That safer barrier... It does extend and it does make uh, it does um get contact with them 
is uh, Charles Sanford. Let's see Charles Sanford. He's down way at the bottom. We'll ride with him since they all they really did was spin out. And it was Katie Elizabeth and Christian Vietoro who um uh got spun out and then I have no idea how uh, Charles Sanford got up and over. Right there, that was Gene Sanford, his sister, who hits him with really nowhere to go. Oh! I will put this in slow, slow-mo, frame to frame. See, see? Bam! Right there was the hit. And we'll go rear chase and see that that hard of an impact puts Charles Sanford barrel rolling in the grass. Wow. And does he land back on all four tires? He does. He's definitely out of this race. So we'll go back to the front for you guys. It's Stephen Paul III who led them. Now we only have 11 drivers on the track. So you, these 11, which I will name off when we get back, pretty lucky. So we'll be right back. And we are back. There is actually 13 drivers left. Two of them already lapped down. That is Lily Murphy and Steve Pollard. Uh, I don't know what to do. This is ridiculous. We are only on lap 22. I might have to cancel the race. Because if any more drivers are out, it's going to be a top 10 finish for the lap cars. And they are the la and they are the only lap cars. So this, um, if you see your car right now, that is a uh, Stephen Pollard the third, Zach Warren, Time Pollard, James Shelley, Katie Elizabeth, May Shelley, um, who is the nine? I totally forgot. I'm totally drawing a blank. Mason Williams, Christian Viatoro, Ryan McLemore, and Drew Austin. And then 11th and 12th and 13th. So Ben Cannon, Lily Murphy, and Steve Pollard. You 13 are very lucky. That's all I'm going to say. You're very lucky right now. As let's hope to not have a caution right here. They do not. They do not hit the wall. Very close though. There's not a side by side for the lead between Stephen Pollard III and Zach Warren. But Paul will just give him the lead. This time Pollar does have some right side damage too. Katie Elizabeth is looking to take the lead back as Stephen Pollard is just losing positions very, very quickly. And do we see another wreck? Do we? I don't know. No, we do not, but I think we were close. I heard something. But Zach Warren is uh, out ahead right now by about half a second over Katie Elizabeth. Because I believe Zach Warren is the only driver who does not have damage to his car. So we will go in pit lane two and show you everybody getting back to the line. First, it'll be Zach Warren. And then right here... A little flyby on the drivers that we can see. And a little radius distance. So there's Katie Elizabeth falling back. And then Drew Austin. He was in a wreck before. Um, with Zach Danford. He had a quite a bit of damage. But he was able to drive away. And now is in about, I think, fourth or third. But can anyone catch up to Zach Warren? Who is um, your leader at the moment. I think they've actually caught up to him. Oh, they sort of caught up to him. We're going helicopter. We saw in helicopter view just now that he sort of, um, the time pilot is sort of catching up to him, probably very slowly. There's Stephen Pollard, third, getting run up into the wall by Christian Viatoro, and they make contact, and they get, they get out of it, and they save it. But time Pollard. Excuse me, that was Time Pollard, not Stephen Pollard III. They have the same car color, and I just totally spaced it. But now, it's Christian Viatoro, who is out in front. Uh, Zach Warren looking to take that back. 
is now he will get run up into the wall. He hits the wall, and that will give Zach Warren the lead. And that brings the front four in very close. And these are the rest of your leaders. Going very slow, but there's a big caution. So this is race to watch the race back to the line. It's gonna be prob probably be side by side. Oh, they made contact too! Oh! So it's a race back to the line with a crash. This is it Zach Warren? And we'll show you how this, this um, big wreck occurred with a lot of drivers possibly out of this race. And here it is, three wide action. Um, sort of three wide action. Um, but we'll show you. That is Stephen Pollard the third getting run up into the wall by Drew Austin. Really, with no room. As Drew Austin gets loose and um, turns Mason Williams and himself. James Shelley and uh, Stephen Pollard the third getting through it. Lily Murphy with some damage. Uh, May Shelley with some damage, like we saw just now. Now I wonder. How they got all this damage. So we'll fast forward a little. Oh, they just got damage from hard hits. So, um, not really much to show there. And then we do have the race back to the line. And we will, um, bring you back to one to go again. As hopefully this race is almost over. Um, and here we go. Green flag is out with nine drivers left on the racetrack. Drew Austin did retire from the race, so did May Shelley and um, Mason Williams. So, you nine that are out on the track right now, great finish for you guys in Vegas. <clears throat> so, um, it is now Katie Elizabeth and uh, Zach Warren fighting for the lead. As let's hope they don't get run up into the wall and crash, which would not be a very good sign for this last six laps. But I think they're the only chances of winning this race. These guys back here are slowing up. So as we approach six laps to go here in Vegas, finally, after 41 minutes of time, well, actually 35 minutes since the five-minute uh, intermission. Oh, they're getting run up into the wall pretty good. They barely nick the wall this is going to be a good race um, to the end for sure so these are the only two drivers pretty much eligible to win the race unless they wreck unless they wreck this is pretty much it's pretty much them two because they are the only ones within a second of each other Oh, Zach Warren hits the wall, though. That gives Katie Elizabeth good, a good lead. And that might just, that might have just sealed the deal. That might have sealed the deal. Wow. Unless Zach Warren can uh, get some AT&T magic and, um, Take the lead and catch up. Three laps to go. And I don't even think I should show you guys the standings. I really think I shouldn't. Even though you guys do need to comment on the, on the race to say where you finished. I'll show you guys anyway. I'm just um, exaggerating. Because there are a lot of video clips to put in this. And look at this! Zach Warren! Oh! Zach Warren! Oh, man! They both hit the wall, and Zach Warren does get the worst of it, and almost gets loose. But now, he has to work even harder to catch up to, um, Katie Elizabeth. But he d is getting closer. And here we go! White flag is about to be out! One to go here in uh, Las Vegas. 
And like we said, the nine who have, um, who are still out on the track right now, like we said, have survived. Pretty much. So whoever pretty much um, finishes the race is going to have a top ten finish. Obviously, Drew Austin was the last person to crash, so he's going to have a, a top ten finish. But here we go. Coming out of turn number four. They are side by side. Kitty Elizabeth hits the wall. That will be the it. And for her, Zach Warren's going to win. Zach Warren won the race. James Shelley coming in third. Stephen Pollard third coming in fourth. Um, Time Pollard coming in fifth. Ryan McLemore sixth. Christian Viatoro eighth or seventh and eighth is Ben Cannon. And then Steve Pollard, your lap car is right here. And we'll give you to uh, your official standings with nine cars left. So you guys know the nine that wrecked. And I'm just kind of going by this pretty quick. And let me export this this time. LCS Vegas. And um, great race today, I guess. A long race, 45 minutes long. And we will see you guys in Texas.